We continue now at the top of Daf Tzadi Tesh Amid Beis Maseches Ksubis. This is Ksubis Daf 99b. And the previous summit, Rabbi Yehuda had said that in a situation where the shliach goes ahead and doesn't perform the instructions of the mishaleach, so the mishaleach has not committed me'ila because there's no shlichus in such a situation. Now that's even true. Let's say the mishaleach told the shliach to buy a cloak for six, and the shliach went ahead and he did buy a cloak that was worth six, but he got a good deal. He only spelt, spent three on it. So Rabbi Yehuda says, no, that's still not doing the shlichus because he wanted him to spend the whole thing because he would have found a better deal. But, Rash, but uh, the Gemara then says that Rabbi Yehuda admits in a situation of kidneys, let's say he spent part of it, so there the, he really did do the shlichas, because the Mishalech can't say, oh, if you would have spent more, then you would have gotten an even better deal on the kidneys, because it's all the same deal. That's what the Gemara says, Sha kidneys besela, the kidneys bepruta, kidneys is sold at a sella, kidneys is sold at a pruta. It doesn't matter if he would have spent the full amount of money, he just would have gotten more in exact proportion. There wouldn't have been a gain that the uh, that the Mishalech was looking for. Sha kidneys besela, he kidneys bepruta, lefi do a calculation. How many prutas are in a cellar? That's exactly the same deal. Just because you buy more doesn't mean you're going to get a better deal. You'll get it cheaper. That's not true when it comes to a cloak. It could be the balabayas. The mishaleach meant that when it comes to a cloak, spend the full six because you're going to get a very good deal. It'll be a better cloak. That's what we're about to say over here. That again, when it's sold in this fashion, there is no difference. It's You're not going to get a deal when you buy it in bulk. And the Gemara says, The Gemara says, indeed, you do see from the statement of Rabbi Yehuda, you see that that is exactly the case, that Rabbi Yehuda is talking about the fact that, again, you could have gotten a better deal on the cloak had you spent the full amount of money. And the Gemara says, Hey, Chidami, what exactly is the case? What are we talking about over here where we say, Kidney is Besela, Kidney is Bepruta, Elema Ba'asher de Mezavni Beshuma. So if you're going to say that we're talking about where it's sold by some kind of estimation, that's how they sell Kidney is. So, Hey, Chidami, what exactly is the case? On the contrary, maybe if he gives him a full seller, then he will give him a good deal and he'll sell it to him in bulk. So what does he mean? Kidney is besela, kidney is bepruta, and the Gemara answers. Amar Papa, Rav Papa says baasra the kaili bekani. The Amar le kana kana bepruta. No, we're talking about in a place where a person measures the legumes, the kidney is in these vessels, and each one is going to be a pruta. It's an exact measurement. So again, it doesn't make a difference how much you buy. You're always going to buy at the same rate. And the Gemara continues, Tashma, come in here a proof to the question on the previous summit from our Mishnah. Again, the, the question on the previous summit was, let's say you have a situation where Mishaleach tells a Shliach to buy a core, and then the Shliach goes ahead, he doesn't buy a full core, instead he buys a Liska, he buys a lesser amount. So do we say that that Shlichus is an effective Shlichus, or do we say no? He didn't do what the Mishaleach told him to do, and the, the Mishaleach specifically wanted him to buy a core, so if he buys a lesser amount, the Shlichus and the, the purchase is going to be bottle. So now we have a proof from our Mishnah, Let's say you have a situation where Aksuba is 400 Zuz, and again, she's selling the property of her late husband, which is really the property of the Yisomim. She's like a Shliach of the Yisomim, and she's selling it to collect Aksuba. So we said again in the Mishnah that she sells one little piece of property for a mana, another one for a mana, a third one for a mana. The last one, it says, she sells it. It's a, it's really worth a mana and a dinar. She sells it for less than it's worth. She sells it for a mana. The Mishnah said, Shal Achron Batav Shal Kula so the last sale is going to be nullified because she sold it too cheap. She sold it for less than its value. But the other ones, it's going to be an effective sale. And so Rashi over here explains, She was sent as a shliach to, to, to buy for the full 400. It should have been one property, one sale. And she did it piecemeal. She did a first one for a mana, a second one for a mana. It's really the same case. It's like the Mishalech said, buy from your core. And she bought a liska. She bought a half a core. She's doing it in pieces. And yet we said mechron kayim. So therefore, it seems like the shlichus is a good shlichus. And the Gemara answers kedam Rav Shisha Ravidi. The answer is like Rav Shisha Ravidi said bikatini. We're talking specifically about parcels of land that are small tracts of land. Hachanami bikatini. So too over here, we'll say the same thing that Rav Shisha Ravidi said in a different context. We're talking about small tracts of land. Rashi over here says bikatini loyu sados halalu yachad. These fields were not all together. Vein ruin la demechad. It wouldn't. You would never sell them all to one person. So it was clear that was the understanding of the shlichus when she was selling these fields, that she would sell it to different people. So, of course, she is fulfilling the shlichus. 
And the Gemara continues, Pshita it is obvious. Amar le'echad velo l'shnayim. Rashi over here says, Pshita, Amar l'shalucho mochor li base core misadosai le'echad velo l'shnayim. Let's say he says, sell for me a base core from my field, a certain amount of my property, to one person and not to two, two people. So Amar le'echad velo l'shnayim. He told him to sell to one person and not to two. And if he goes ahead and he sells it to two, it's going to be a problem. It's not going to be a shlichus. Even if you're going to say, a guy says, sell from your core, he sells a, le- a liska, that that's good. Here it would certainly be bad. Because here it's clear he doesn't want an abundance of shtaros. He doesn't want him to sell to multiple people because he doesn't want such a situation where he has to keep track of multiple shtaros. But Amr le le'echad stama. But the question is like this. What if he just says, sell it to one person? He doesn't make it clear. Rashi says, Amr le'echad stama velo pirish velo l'shnayim. He doesn't say, sell it to one person and not to two people. Mi'a v'giloi daitolo. Is it assumed that he means you have to sell it to one person and not to two? Again, this is similar to the question before where he says, sell for me a core and then the person sells a lesach instead. So over here in this case, he said, let's say le'echad stama, sell to one person, but he didn't mention not to two. So my, what would be the halacha? So Ravuna Amar Lechad Velo Lishnayim. Ravuna says, no, even in this case, he has to sell to one person and not to two people. Rav Chista Varava Bar Ravuna, the Amri Tarvayo, Rav Chista and Rav Bar Ravuna, they both say, Liechad Vafilo Lishnayim, Liechad Vafilo Lemeya. He could sell to one, even two. He could sell to one, even a hundred. In such a situation, he was not makbid that it specifically sold to one person. And the Gemara continues, Tashma, come and hear a proof from our Mishnah to the question on the previous summit. Again, the question on the previous summit was, let's say a person tells a shliach to sell a core of the property, and the person only sells a lesach, the person sells a half a core of the property. So is that a total violation of the shlichus and there's no sale, or is it an effective shlichus? And the Gemara brings a proof from our Mishnah, Haisa Ksubas Arva Meozuz, cases her Ksubas 400 Zuz, she is like a shliach of the Asomim, she's selling their property for her Ksuba. Machr lazebemona velazebemona, uliachron yafemona so she sells one piece of property for a mana, a second and a third for a mana, and the last one, she sells it too cheap, it's really worth a mana and a dinar, and she sells it for a mana, so the last one's not a good sale because she sold it for too little money. But when it comes to the first ones, those are all going to be good sales, and as Rashi notes, that's exactly like our case, she's selling it in pieces, she's selling like a liska, she's selling a half a core, when she was told to sell a whole core, she should have sold all 400 in one shot. And the Gemara answers, Kedom Rav Shisha B'Reid Ravidi B'Ketini. The answer is, like Rav Shisha B'Reid Ravidi said in a different context, that we're talking about small tracts of land, Hachanami B'Ketini. So to over here, we're talking about small tracts of land that Rashi notes they're not connected to one another. It was obvious she'd have to sell them to, to different people, and therefore it's no proof at all. In this case, she certainly did what the shlichus, what the intention of the shlichus would have been. And the Gemara continues, Pshit Amar Liachad Velo Lishnayim. It's obvious, let's say a person says to a shliach, he says, sell my property to one person and not to two people. So Amar Le, Le'achar Velo Lishnayim, he said to him, one and not two. He doesn't want to sell to two people. He doesn't want to keep track of multiple shtaras. Obviously, if the person sells to two people, it's not going to be a good shlichus. But Amar Le, Le'achat Stama, but let's say the Mishaleach says to the shliach, just sell to one person, but doesn't make it clear not to two people. My, what would be the halacha? Rav Huna Amar Le'achar Velo Lishnayim, Rav Huna says he's got to sell to one and not to two. Rav Chistav Rav Abba Rav Huna, Damri Tarvayu, and Rav Chistav Rav Huna, they both say, he could sell to one person, even to two people, one person, even to a hundred people. He's not really makbid in regards to the amount of people. Ikla Rav Nachman Lasura. So Rav Nachman went to Sura. Oh, Lagabe Rav Chista, the Rabba Bar Rav Huna. Rav Chista and Rabba Bar Rav Huna came to visit him. Amrule, they said to him, Ki Hai Gavnamai. In this situation, what is the halacha? Amar Luhu, he said to them, Liachod Vafil Lishnaim, Liachod Vafil Lemeya. Again, you could sell to one, even two. You could sell to one, even a hundred. The person is not makbid. Amrule, they said to him, Afal Gav de Toshliach. Are you saying that even in a situation where the Shliach made a mistake? Rashi over here says, Viafal Gav de Toshliach. Is it good even if he sells it for less money than it's really worth? Would you say that in that situation as well? Amar Lahu, he said to them, I'm not talking about where the Shliach made a mistake. That's already going to be a problem. Amrule, so they said to him, Amar Mar, but didn't the master say, Eino Nolikarkos? There's no such thing as overcharging or underselling when it comes to land. And so therefore, how could you say over here that would be a problem? We're talking about land. And the Gemara answers, Hanimili Heicho de Tobalabayas. When we say there's no enough for karka, that's if the owner of the land sold it for the wrong amount. Avalta Shliach, but if a Shliach would make a mistake in terms of selling it, Amar. 
Amar le, the Balabais can say to him, I, saw, I, I made you my shliach in order to do things for my benefit, but not to do things to my detriment. And the Gemara continues, From where do we see that we make this kind of a distinction between the shliach and the Balabais, the Tran, as we learned in the Mishnah? Let's say a person says to his shliach, Go take off truma on my behalf. Torem kedas Balabais, he has to take off the truma according to the normal way that the Balabayas would do it, we say that when it comes to a Balabayas, so some balabai, some Balabatim will do it in a way with a, where they'll be generous. They'll take 140th and give it as Truma. Some will be less generous. They'll be less generous 150th or 160th. He has to do it the way the Balabayas would have done it. Now, if the shliach doesn't know how the balabais would have done it, so Torah in is he should do it like the average amount, Echod Mechamishim, he should do 150th. Piches Asara or Hosef Asara. Now, let's say he does it less by 10 or he does it more by 10. Rashi says Hosef Asara means he does Echod Mishishim. He doesn't do the right amount. So Truma, so Truma. So in such a situation, it is going to be a good Truma. Ve'ilu gabe balabayis, Tanya. Now, where is by the balabayis? That's what it says by the shliach. What does it say by the, by the balabayis? It says, Taram ve'ola biyadu. Let's say he takes off truma ve'ola biyadu. Afilu echem me'esrim. It turns out that he does even one twentieth truma. So truma, then the truma will be a good truma. And Rashi over here says, Ve'ilu gabe balabayis, Tanya. V'ocha Tanya piches asara truma. So truma avol tve'lo. When it comes to the shliach, he can be off by ten, but that's all he can be off by. He can't be off by any more than that. But when it comes to the Baal Abayas, even if he's off by more than that, we still say Truma, so Truma, that's how you say, that's how you see that we make a distinction between a Baal Abayas and the Shliach. And the Gemara continues, Tashma, come in here, another proof, Haisak, Subasa, Arba, Meozuz, Again, it says, let's say her ksub is 400 zuz, machr lezeh b'mona, v'lezeh b'mona, li'achron shav b'mona, v'diner b'mona. Again, she sells one piece of property for a mona, another for a mona. The last one is going to be a mona and a diner, but she only sells it for a mona. Shal achron batal, the last sale is going to be batal, v'shal kulon, mechron kayim, and all the rest of them that we say the sale is going to be good. And Rashi over here says, Tashma ha'isak subasa v'yafushe shtori kepeidu. He now again, the question was, is this person makbid? He doesn't want you to sell it to multiple people when he says one person, or he's not makbid. So if you're going to say that he is makbid, he nami the yisomim, lo galu datayu, granted the yisomim haven't said anything about how they want to sell the field, but anon miya diyad yisomim, bo inalam have we have to be like the shluchim of the yisomim, we have to act in their interest. Islam lameim, our mechron batal, if there really is an automatic hakpada that you should sell to one and not multiple, this should be a problem in our mishnah when she starts selling the land to different people instead of selling all 400 zuz at one time. And here's where Rav Shisha Breder Avidi made his original comment, Omer Rav Shisha Breder Avidi, Rav Shisha Breder Avidi says again, we're talking about small tracts of land. It is obvious that you're going to sell them in pieces. They're not connected to one another. And therefore, in this situation, that's why Mechron Kayim. And the Gemara continues with the Mishnah, Shum HaDayon, and let's say you have a situation where a property is evaluated by judges. Shapichso, Shesus, or Hosifu Shesus. In the court, they either made it worth less by a sixth or more by a sixth. They were off in terms of their valuation. Mechron bottle. So in that situation, they were off by that amount. The sale is going to be bottle. Rav Shem Ben Gamliel, Loma Mechron Kayim. Rav Shem Ben Gamliel says, no, the sale is going to be good. Because in Cain, Makoach Bezin Yafet, because otherwise, what is the strength of Bezin? Obviously, this is a Bezin, and therefore, the evaluation of the court should be taken seriously, and the sale will be considered effective. Avolimosui Geres Bakhoris Beinayan, but let's say they made a public announcement, people were bidding on the property, Afilu Machro Shavim Mone Bemasayim, or Shavim Masayim Bemone, even if they sold something worth 100 for 200, or something worth 200 for 100, Mechron Kayim, it will be an effective sale. And the Gemara says, They asked the following question, What about a shliach that makes a mistake? Who is that similar to? Rashi says, Shliach keman, Shliach de to keman. When we, let's say a shliach selling the property makes a mistake, what is that similar to? Dainin and lake almona. Do we say that's like the widow selling the property of the Asomim? Dainin and lake koldu bottle. We said by the almona, if she makes even a small mistake, the sale is nullified. Kiritanan shavimona bedinu bemona machra bottle. It said if it was worth a mon and a dinar and she sold it for a mon, it's a problem. Okidayonin hu viad de to bishasus. Or maybe no, the shliach is more like the court and they have a leeway of a six. The shliach has a leeway of a sixth, just like the court, and we'll continue with this discussion in the next video on Daf Kuf Ahmed Aleph.